I'm Maddie Bob. You already know what time of day it is, honey. We are going on vacation. Girl, y'all already know we went down there to that Dominican Republic last year and tore that bitch up. But this year, we taking it down there to Mexico, honey. Actually, Riviera Maya, Mexico. And girl, guess who coming with me? Guess, girl. Guess. Huh? You couldn't guess? Well, let me tell you. The cussing pasta. Ha, 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 ha. Thaddeus Matthews will be my guest judge July 10th through the 15th. Honey, I need you to rush over there right now and get your tickets at www.qscvacations.com. That's www.qscvacations.com. And honey, listen, don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. I love you. See you, Mexico girl. Come on here, pastor. Let's get down to business. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Who what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grindr, Scruff, BGC, Jet, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison, honey, and welcome uh, to Cracking the Cold Cases. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cold Cases. As you've watched earlier tonight on the program or the night before, uh, my special guest judge is Sherry the Boom, honey. And Sherry the Boom is a girl that I have watched online and I've met in person and we've shared a personal, very quiet relationship online and stuff like that for uh, a numerous amount of years and you know i love her so and she's now been a judge here on the queen's supreme court but what we're going to do tonight is we're going to crack crack into the cold cases for those of you that don't know who cherry bomb is we're about to definitely find out so with that being said cherry Yes, what's going on, my friend? Who is Cherry, and what is it that you do? Hey, you guys, I'm Cherry the Boom, and what I do, I like to just say I'm an angel. You know, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really an angel. I mean well. Um, I'm very blunt, very bold, very outspoken, but I mean well. Um, I love God, you know, but I'm definitely a person who loves to inspire, who lives in my truth, and who really don't give a fuck. So when you say live in your truth, mm -hmm. Cherry... God, I want I want to make sure because I know, but I just want to position this question in the correct way. Come on, question me, baby. Question. Uh, do you, are you a transgender woman? Yes, I am a proud transgender woman. Ah, oh. proud. And so the proper pronouns to use when speaking to you are she, her, and hers. Yes. All right, bitch. All right. Okay. <laughs> you are very beautiful. You are, you're very Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, Madison. You are too. Am I? And you thicker than a snicker. Thicker than two snickers, honey. Yeah, I got to get down the size of one. Okay. So, Cherry, you say that you just the boom. Mm -hmm. And that's just it. That's, that's that. What are some of your catchiest taglines that you have? Because I know one is, is my favorite, and I've used it a couple of times. And what's that? The thing of the thing. Yes, the things of the things, baby. I have it tatted on me. All of that. Um, the things of the things came from, like, I used to just say, um, the top of the line, the best of the best, the things of the things. Like, it gets no better. Um, more so recently, I love saying things like my mama said. Like, you know, when I'm responding to haters without saying names, I, I use this phrase that says, my mama said, you know, because you know when your mama told you to do things, you had to learn. You had to do what she said. Some of my mama said, don't entertain the bullshit. My mama said, I'm a bad bitch. My mama said, I love you. So, you know, when your mama said do it, it means it has to be some truth behind it. Okay, you. okay. And so, um, you know, I, my favorite one, though, is the thing of the things. And I've seen you be very vocal online, girl, honey. And when you are reading a bitch to the grave and yet beyond, you let them know, bitch, you are not fucking with the thing of the things, you bitch. Not. I love all of it. I love all that self-confidence. I love all that energy, all of that boisterous, loud, loud, and in color attitude that you got. 
You know, you have to be that way because in this world that we live in, there's so many people trying to tear us down. There's so many people trying to tell us who we have to be, who we can't be, who we, we should try to be like. And when you live in your truth and you just do what you're supposed to do, it just flows. So how did you get to this point where you are right now? Um, honestly, a lot of prayer. Like, um, I just mean well. I don't really try to discuss other people's business. I feel as though my life is entertaining enough for me to be able to discuss to my viewers, my bomb squad, you know. I feel like my platform, I, I can just talk about me and people, it keeps people's interest. Yes, because you do, you've garnered lots of followers online from just being yourself, mm -hmm. uh, opening up your your phone and just, <laughs> just showing, just letting people follow you, follow you around, follow you in your world. So tell us about growing up with uh, these thoughts on your identity. Um, As a child, like, you know, honestly, as a little boy, I didn't know what trans was. I just used to like watching shows like Jerry Springer and those type of shows. Like, is it really a woman? Is it a man? And I used to always be like, how the fuck did those men become so beautiful? I didn't know what transitioning was. I didn't know. I just knew that I had more in common with girls. I knew that I wanted to be, my, I wanted my outside to look like a woman. I knew I wanted people to respect me as a girl. I knew I liked dolls and boys and I was naturally feminine. And so you you wanted your outside to match what your inside is. Felt, yes. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> Cherry. Yes. You're a scandalous girl. <laughs> you are a scandalous girl. Oh my God, you've been you've been involved in lots and lots of things. Mm -hmm. But some of the things that have stood out to me the most is uh give it to me <laughs> do you want it give it to me well we're gonna crack the cold cases give it to me okay there was an incident in particular that happened where it seems as though you were outing a man mm -hmm. like you drove to his job i watched this online i was just you drove to his job you went inside of his job you told him his the people that he worked with bitch that that you were you were transgender and that he was fucking you. Y'all was fucking each other. And girl, what happened with that? Like I just I don't I was I was on the outside like a like a really right. lost soul watching what was going on and I never for the people out there that are looking at you that mm -hmm. probably stumbled across that video mm -hmm. because looking at you you are a very beautiful trans woman. Thank you. Are you very beautiful and you're very, very passable? Thank you. So when you say the terms like, "Oh, well, I'm a transgender woman. I'm I was born male, but I transitioned into female," and bitch, da 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 da. You say this stuff and you say this stuff loud on video, mm -hmm. and you go to this man's job, girl. First of all. <laughs> Girl, honestly, like, what I've learned with that whole situation, first of all, now that... What happened? I want to know what happened. Get, take me a step. First of all, I'm just going to say I'm a cancer. I am a hopeless romantic. Um, the way I was raised, I'm going to be good to you. You be good to me. and We can live happily ever after. I met him. And, you know, first of all, now that I'm, I have this space to say my part, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say, Jeremy, I do apologize. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, bitch, on some real shit... It wasn't an exposure. What people don't understand is, I don't give a fuck what people think about me. Society and that video that went viral said transgender exposes boyfriend. What people don't understand is I met him on a gay website. Oh. So in my head, I only prefer to deal and date men that live in their truth already. So it wasn't a matter oh. of me exposing him. It was a matter of I'm going live to record a fuck nigga that played with me. Can I say that on here? Oh, you could be. Oh. Listen, this is my platform, girl. <laughs> okay, I'm exposing this fuck nigga who was playing with me, not more so to say, oh, this man, he likes transgender women. That's not what the video was given. I met him on a gay site. I didn't know if he had been with men or women. I'm mad at oh. you because you lied to me. But, you know, the video blew up. It went viral, and people led to believe what they wanted to believe. But, bitch, I'm not in the business of helping you believe the truth, bitch. I know the truth. My truth is my truth. And, ho, believe what the fuck you want. I get it. Okay, so the misconception that people had yes. was that you were trying to out a straight yes. man when yes. this man already was a frequent 
was he a, was already on a gay dating site. Oh, uh, so you met him on a gay dating site yes. where, where where gay identified men and men who deal with other men males and, males and trans, trans women, women yes. are on this site. So Absolutely. basically, he was uh, his identity was he was under the umbrella. Absolutely, we were on my that night before. Mind you, this, that happened in the first twenty four hours we met each other. That's what people don't know. You know what I'm saying? So that's well, I know because I was watching it. Right, I was right, like, right. "Girl, wait, she just met this boy." Right, See, right, right. I, I'm sitting here following this. Right. I'm watching this because I'm like, I see you. You just, you had just met him. Mm-hmm. I just met him. I thought y'all were good because y'all was. I, I thought that y'all had we a. We were booed a, up. We were all on I mean, Snapchat. Yes, I saw you. I thought y'all had an immediate connection. Y'all were kissing. Yes, all that, and it was a lie, and. I'm like, okay. Girl, well, so you, so is it safe to, to say, like a black bitch. Is, is it safe to say you fell in love with him in the one day? Girl, to say in love, no. I'm not going to say I was in love in one day, but I'm going to just say I believed everything he told me that day. Well, tell us so that we know, like, clear your you name know, here. I just really feel like if a nigga ain't on no real shit, he just going to be very much like, you know, I want to. You know, I want to fuck, or you know, I have a crush on you. It was very much, can I take you out to dinner? Mm-hmm. It was very much, um, I know who I am. I live in my truth. I've never talked to a trans woman before. I know I'm on the gay side because I don't know what I like, but I know I like trans women. Mm. That's what it gave between us. Mm. But, you know, the day we went to his job, well, actually, it wasn't even his job. It was, um, he already had a job. He was trying to get a second job. And um, he asked me, you know, well, babe, you know, can you take me to this place? And woo, woo, my friend, go get me this job. I'm going to just let him know I'm interested. And go. we went up there, and in the midst of me being at the job with him while he's on the interview, girl, some hoes was calling my phone, like, girl, I've been with him. And I'm like, no, you ain't, bitch. I already done talked to him. You know, I'm the type of person if you we have tell a relationship, me, you, you believe it. I believe what you tell me, and no no matter what no one says about you, you've already told me the truth. I, I don't get entertain it. the fool I lie. So when I find out that you are a liar, and you allow these people to laugh at me, I'm gonna get you. Ah. They laughed at me, now we're gonna laugh at you. Okay, so let me dis- dissect this correctly. You met him on a gate on on a, on a jacked app yes. or app some app of that nature. Yes, but I do feel bad that he had to come out in such a way. I didn't know the video was gonna go viral. You know what I mean? But Cherry, you're beautiful, and listen, you're a beautiful girl. And I'm not stroking your ego here. I'm just telling you, you're a beautiful girl, and you're a beautiful girl that's telling the world. Bitch, I'm a man. Because you went to the depths. I did. And girl, a lot of that, I will honestly say, a lot of that was hurt. It was. You know, I'm not too big to say it was hurt. It was hurt because if I give you all of me and, I, and I'm genuine to you, I'm learning in life as I get older that everyone's not you. Everyone is not going to be as genuine as you are. Everyone is not going to have your best interest at heart. Everyone's not going to tell you the truth from day one. And I'm learning to deal with that accordingly instead of my outburst that I'm used to. Because when I saw it, I saw you, I saw, I'm telling you, it was crazy. Because the night, <laughs> we cracking the cold case and said, we getting to the bottom of this. Because mm-hmm. the night before, y'all was lovey kissing. I was like, oh, he's a nice looking man. She's, she, they look cute together. He cute and y- y'all were cute together. Right. Kissing and stuff. Girl, by the time the sun touched the sky, bit. Fuck, nigga, get in the you. You handle him like a like a guy. You handle him like a dude. You told him, "Fuck, nigga, get in this car." He got in the car and he was like, "Bitch ass, nigga." I was just there, like, stop ah. With me, like, stop playing with me. I don't play with men. I feel as though I live in my truth. I'm not trying to hide nothing from you. I'm not leading you to believe that this is anything that it's not. It's very much this is who I am. You're interested. Let's be adults and build and grow. Or bitch, get the fuck out of my face. Because now I'm taking it personal that you playing with my, my personal time that I gave to you by choice. Girl, you drove that man to the store. I mean, to that job. You got out of that car. You walked in that place. You walked up and down the aisles letting him hold it. <laughs> Girl, you, Oliver, did you not see it? No. Oh, my God. You should just wait. <laughs> but I'm a good person. I mean well. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave me alone. Girl, you walk up and down that thing. You let that man. I felt I, I, Cherry, I felt so dug in for that man. And people were trying to ask me. I have to say this. 
Mm-hmm. And this is how you know I'm a real ass bitch too. People were telling me, Madison, why don't you make a video about that? I'm like, I'm not getting into that because I don't know the in depth of that. And she, and, thank you. and she's a trans girl. I'm not, and I like her. And bitch, I'm not gonna get into that shit. I'm gonna watch like everybody else watching, <laughs> and see how the shit unfold. And when the time come for me to get the motherfucking tea, right, to crack the case, I'm gonna do that. I wanna know. Thank you. So now I'm understanding. He was already on the our, um, our, um, our rainbow umbrella. He was already that. Mm-hmm. And he had lied to you and stated that he had never been with no other, telling the same cliche lie yeah. that we're doing. And my dumb ass know better, but I believe it. Because I just feel like if you're talking about something other than... Fucking. Right. Keep it real with me. Yeah, his approach was different. It was a different approach. So he came in the door wanting to court you. Right, right. He didn't come in the door like the rest I of us. I got some money. Right, right, right. Yeah, I got money, or I want you to suck my dick, or I want to do this to you. Right. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, because you... And, mean- I, and it wasn't just, it was a very consistent thing. He was consistent with me. What people don't understand is that when I met him, I was on my way to a whole nother state to meet a whole nother nigga. Oh, you was, you was... Bitch, I, I'm going to do me. Oh, you were doing you. I'm going to do me. Ah! Do me. Oh, but, so you were doing you. Yeah, but um, I had got there. He was just very consistent. And on my way back from where I was going, it didn't work out. I was on my way back, and he was just like, can I take you to eat? And I'm like, what, what's up? Every blue moon, I'll be nice and give somebody a chance. But I did feel bad. You know, a lot of people with that situation in particular, um, a lot of people were like, you know, those trans girls need to be careful doing that because outing these men... And then yes. they'll get killed. And I, that was like the least of my concern only because I know the truth and he knows the truth. Yes. He knows that I was not out here trying to out him. He knows that, bitch, I met you on a gay site. I was under the impression that you live your life in your truth. So I have no reason to expose you. So that's why I was not worried about being harmed or hurt. No, I didn't know you were going to be outed. But, bitch, that's what comes sometimes when you're playing with people and not telling the whole percent truth. Right. Okay, so basically he was never outed. You just put him on blast on what he was exactly. doing to I you. Exactly. I would do that to a, a, any other man, whether he was gay, tri, bi. What, I would do that to any man that played with me. Right. And, and, and what the people out there don't understand is that your preference particularly lies with men who identify under the gay umbrella. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. is that is that's really your main preference. You don't you really don't care for the men that identify as straight. Like, right, because it's the mind thing. I don't have time to. I've already came out that closet. I'm already living in my truth. I don't have time to go back into that closet to reach for a hand that don't even know where the fuck they at. Yeah, Mm-mm. I, I get it. For that. Now we go through that, and I'm, I'm so glad. What was big of you tonight was you apologizing to him mm-hmm. in front of all these people who are going to be watching this or who is watching this now that didn't know you right. know what transpired or, or can Google your name and find a video and, and, and hopefully when they Google your name, this falls up under it too where you, right. where you come forth and you say, for y'all bitches that was watching, he was not a straight man to begin with. Right. Right. And I took that time to apologize only because I know it takes a lot of people from the LGBT community time to come out and to figure out who they are. And bitch, I made him do it in 24 hours. We got into it that day, bitch. The next morning, we woke up, and his business was across the world. It was. You know what I'm saying? And that was not my intentions, but bitch, stop playing with people. Yeah, and it was not my pl- it was not my place to jump into something to talk about it. You get what I'm saying? Especially being that you that we we share the same space under the umbrella, and I also have a large platform for me to go in. Like, yeah, I'm tired of the girls doing it when I don't know the full story. Thank you. And I a did- lot of bitches didn't do that. A lot of hoes kept their mouth on something that they knew nothing about. I, I didn't. I was not one of those girls. I didn't talk any. I, I watched. I didn't talk because I knew when I got the opportunity to ask you questions about it, I was going to do right. that. You know, same thing comes with this next thing that's on the, on cracking the cold cases with you. Recently, mm-hmm. dear dear niece, what's that? I watched you go to Puerto Rico. Mm. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Whose birthday was it? It was. Out of, it was probably about five of us. It was three of our birthdays. Also, it was you and two other girlfriends' mm-hmm. birthday, and these were cisgender women mm-hmm. that you traveled out of. Out well, you was you at the excuse me. Puerto Rico is still a part of the United States, right? But U.S. territory. U.S. U.S. territory. Mm-hmm. But you went to Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. and you were in Puerto Rico having a good time. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 listen, here I am again, being nosy. Mm-hmm. 
I'm watching this too. Right. And then I see all hell break loose. I saw you emotionally distraught. I saw you physically ready to twirl. I saw you angry, upset. I saw so many different emotions. And at the time, me personally, I felt that I would have been messy to reach out to you in that time and be like, well, girl, you know, because it would have seemed like that I was being nosy. I get that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I was being nosy. Like, girl, what's the tea? Right, like, she don't call me no other time. Yeah, like, I ain't right. called you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't call you in the boy. I watched. Because I was no, I'm not going to front. Like, I was trying to see what the fuck was going on. Right. What happened? Girl, um, long story short, those women, um, the girl who I was with, it was her birthday weekend as well. And um, I used to work at her hair salon. Mm. And we had that relationship. I've been in her salon before. I would leave, you know, I would come back. I would leave, I would come back. She, all, We've always had the relationship. She always kept a spot in her salon for me. And one day I went there to get my hair done. And she was like, yeah, you know, since we share the same birthday, um, you know. Let's go to gonna, Puerto Rico. I'm like, bitch, I don't have no plans. I wanted to do something different other than partying in the club. Let's, let's do something. So, girl, we went. Um, I met them over there. And, um half of their party didn't come so i ended up buying the other um airbnb that they they had um long story short the main hole that i was into it with she was just another broke junky ass bitch that really didn't have no money and so they were really trying to do whatever they could do or really doing what the one of the other bitches would uh, could afford for them to do but my whole thing is bitch i came in here to have fun it's my birthday bitch if you came here on a budget you shouldn't have came so hoes was already Bitch, not only was I the Dundada wearing them hoes out. So the, you were the what? The Dundada. Not just that, but you were the thing the of... The things of the things, <laughs> bitch. I was gone from head to toe, lace, nail, every day, all day. That's just because that's the type of woman I am. Yes. But these bald-headed assholes, they were just negative. They were nasty. They couldn't take it. And, bitch, you know my mouth don't hold back for none. At all. And, girl, it just went left. Well, I'd like you to go a little bit in depth. Not, not, not all the way, but just like... Mm -hmm. What what what, ha what happened? Like well, that what particular situation, it was this guy on the beach that I ended up fucking. There it is. Um, he was on the beach, and um, when he showed, mind you, it's I'm a trans woman, and I'm with four other biological women. So when we all saw him and his friends, we were like, "Damn, they fine." So when the the one when the guy came over and they were making conversation with me, they were instantly like, "Oh, they're are they gay?" Right. No, oh. bitch, they're not gay. They just came to the baddest beach in the bunch. And so it, it started from there. Um, little shit, like when they would run to the water, they would try to leave me behind. They would leave me with the dudes knowing I don't want to be left with these dudes. And I don't know if they know the tea or not. You know, I don't want to be left with these dudes. The dudes are smoking me up, buying me drinks. And, you know, they even offer my homegirl drinks. And so, girl, fish just on some real shit couldn't take it. And, girl, it, it turned. It went left. It went left. You know, you hear so much shit about, especially around that time, that's when that, um, what's this shit when they're throwing girls in the back of the cars and shit? Yeah, human trafficking. That's when that had started first happening. So, bitch, we in motherfucking Puerto Rico. Bitch, these men are just trying to get us drunk and y'all leaving me with this man and girl, the girl, it was just too much going on and my genuine heart was very much like, y'all, let's go. We've been at the beach. We've we drank. We've had fun. We've smoked. It's time to go to the room. That's refreshing, you know, and go back. Girl, them hoes was just like... So, basically, it was a I can't take you situation. Yes. <laughs> yes. God, I don't want to claw in it, but yes. I'm just going to stick my toe in it. <laughs> a little tip. <laughs> a tip, a little tip. You think they were jaded, jaded for you as being... Yes. And, and listen, my yes. biological ladies that are watching the show right now, this is something that we trans women go through a lot. You know, with a lot of times, sometimes that they, not all, because all women are like this, and I remember me right. telling you like that, all women are like this, but there are a lot of women battle with other women. Yes. With other women. So you know they have a little slight, a little, not all women, but but some have a little slight in their spirit. Majority. We're not going to go sugarcoat it. Majority. And majority black women. It's the truth, girl. It's the truth. Majority of black women have an issue with confident, beautiful, living out loud, noticeable trans women. Yeah, but it's also majority black women, a, a, a majority of those of black women that have our backs as well. That's why I told you, don't take that situation and let it bitter bitter you on the inside. Right. 
you know, towards them for that. And my thing is, there's just, it's just like it's good, good white people, it's bad yeah, white people. It's absolutely. like it's good black people, it's bad black people. Like it's good girls, it's bad girls. You know, sometimes, you know, a, a sheep, a wolf does come in sheep's clothing. And the thing about it is, you are a beautiful girl and it can be intimidating to people that are not secure within themselves. You feel me? And I get that, but don't take your, your uh, insecurities out on me. Well, I, I deal with enough. I go through struggles too. I'm already a black transgender woman in America. I already have stripes against me, bitch, just because your insecurities don't take that out on me. But but you also have to deal with this too. Or, well, not deal with it, but, but see it. <laughs> it's a hard truth. It's the truth. No matter how beautiful we are mm -hmm. or how passable we are or how we can get through to them, we're men and it comes it comes to a space in some of them not all in some Majority. of them <laughs> where when they see you talking with a man because the first thing that that was said that 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 you said to me was that they said oh they must be gay you are not you are not clockable at all you are not not passable at all. I don't see, and see, this is the misconception that a lot of the women have. Like, when they're communicating with us, they're communicating with us, like, just because you know what you know, doesn't mean that that man knows that. Or just because you see what you see, that man might see a hard woman. How many of them bald-headed-ass motherfucking tired, trap-ass bitches be out there with lovely-ass niggas? We might see them as bald-headed, tired, late trap, but that man might see, he might see the gorgeousness in her. So it's the same way with us, too. You feel me? So my thing is, I get what happened. Now that you're telling me this mm -hmm. in my ear, instead of me watching it on the online, I, first of all, Cherry, you didn't even have to tell me that. I already knew when you went out, I, I went over there to Puerto Rico with those ratchet ass hoes, with those women. <laughs> I already knew. Right. I already knew. And to know that I was coming from a genuine place and I was really just trying to genuinely enjoy my birthday, whether it had been with friends or whether it had been with people I didn't know. I just feel like when you are positive energy. Hopefully positive energy just rotates around you, but I'm learning and I'm realizing that a mad hoe will be a mad hoe It don't really even be about it. Don't even be about mad. It'd be about intimidation and and that man shit women are extremely Territorial about men mm -hmm. Girl, they all wanted that dick that I got bitch. They are <laughs> extremely Territorial when it comes down to men Bitch, they ain't finna be that. They ain't finna share no man with no other woman, and they damn show ain't finna be fucked up with no man with us. But that's where they need to stop and mind their business because what they don't realize is you're already doing it. We are fucking the same men. Bitch, yeah, he might take you home to mama, but bitch, he's still fucking me too. <laughs> oh my god. Bitch, he's still paying my bills too. My dear and god. he's paying more of my bills because he's trying to keep a secret. So, bitch, just because you can give him children. Girl, that, that's not the golden ticket in 2020, boo. A beautiful woman is a beautiful woman. Men are attracted to more than just vagina. They're attracted to femininity. They're attracted to bad bitches. They're attracted to fat asses. I know niggas that look at a bitch with a fat ass, and that bitch look like Rufus in the face. It really doesn't matter. A man is going to... Y'all know niggas ain't shit. A man is going to do whatever the fuck he want to do when he want to do it. Now, he might try to keep it a secret, or he might live out loud. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, he might be on vacation and didn't give a fuck. And he saw a bitch in a bikini, bitch, and he was like, what's up? And you say, hey, I want you to know I'm a chick with a dick. And he like, okay, what did he do? I'm on vacation. It's my birthday. It's my I, birthday, too. I ain't never did with, uh, with a trans woman. Let me, yeah, try something new. And I promise I won't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh. And I, I want to get out of the scandal, and I want to get into... You know, I saw your emotions change. Mm -hmm. I watched you in that car chair. You got in the cab. I saw you get in the cab. Mm -hmm. You were, you cried. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cry, baby, too, girl. No, girl, I gotta tell you, when you were, when you cried in that, I, God, I wanted to be just like, mm -hmm. I just wanted to just get in there and be like, girl, I'll fly you home. Just get out of there because that, because when you are around jaded people, whether they are gay, straight, cisgender transgender when you're around jaded people that's a dangerous thing and they will watch you get fucked up or set you up or do something for you to be hurt 
and I was like, this girl way from ain't she way from Atlanta. And you was like, bitch, let's go. Mm -hmm. No, Oliver. If you, you did you see the video? No. She was like, bitch, let's go. Yes. Bitch, let's and, go. And, you know, in the midst of going through all of that, I still had their protection and their care as a priority. Yes, because it was some men trying to you thought it was some dudes trying to snatch them bitches and take them away. I saw this. Like, bitch, these, these, and it was so crazy. It was just like the men, they were just too nice, bitch. We the only black motherfuckers on this motherfucking beach. Girl, we look like sore thumbs. Ho and y'all drunk, sloppy asses just want to be all over the place. Okay, girl, when they find y'all body, bitch, I ain't going to be nowhere near you because I'm out. Now, I'm trying to be a friend and, you know, try to ha go by that rule that we all came together, we all leave together. But, bitch, you can't save everybody. Man, listen, you got in the car and then... It got really, I, I was in the emotions with you. It got emotional with me. You started crying and you wanted to, you wanted to bash them. No, girl, because you know what, dealing with ratchet hoes, ratchet hoes feel like, bitch, I don't give a fuck what your tea is, bitch, I'll fight you. Yeah. And it, and it gave very much, not only am I being the bigger person, now, ho, you act like you will crawl over me and physically touch me. Now, bitch, now I don't give a fuck how drunk you are. I'm going to sober your ass up real quick. How I'm sitting here worried about your <laughs> well-being and bitch, you're being ignorant, ghetto trash. And we're not going to do that. And ho, and I'm not scared of you. And I'm not going to put my hands on you first either because I really mean well. But ho, don't get it fucked up. I don't give a fuck how many drinks and blunts you've had. Get your, act like a woman. A woman ain't out here just hanging all over the motherfucking beach. We on vacation. Have you a few cocktails. Be buzzed out. But sloppy drunk for a woman by herself is never the option or never the answer. Right. Oh, bitch, you want to be me? Actually, oh, she I, said that. Say it. Girl, say it. You, you I know want that's how I go. Oh, yeah, I want to be me. Oh, sweetie, no, I actually love being transgender. You I want, love it. You want to be me? I got a real pussy. I can, it's these and the, it's so crazy when bitches say shit like that. I have to always remind them, bitch, when I was younger, I never said, oh, Lord, please, I want to wake up with a vagina. I was just like, I want to be a girl. Mm. I didn't give a fuck what type of girl it was. I didn't give a fuck if it was a girl that tucked. If it was a girl that had green hair or blue hair, <laughs> bitch, I wanted to be a girl. Voila. Boom. With boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to wrap this up because I, I, mm -hmm. I, I wrap that part of it up. Mm -hmm. I was on the emotional roller coaster with you. You were crying. You were ready to fight. The girl was acting like that she was gonna she was gonna crawl across the street. You was like, bitch, let me tell you something, ho. You put your motherfucking hands on me, bitch. I'm finna beat your ass. Right out here in motherfucking Puerto Rico, bitch. I'm finna beat your ass. You in say, Puerto Rico. So you were crying. You say and this one I and knew. And that's it how was you real. meant it. I knew it was real. <laughs> Run into the hell. <laughs> <laughs> you was crying. Yeah. I'm telling you, I watched this. Cause I'm I'm pouring it to you piece by piece. Bitch, you put your motherfucking hands on me, pussy ass hoe. I'm gonna beat your ass out here. I don't give a fuck. And bitch, I may be your friend, but I'm gonna beat your ass too. And I'm gonna still make sure you get home. <laughs> bitch, I'm gonna still make sure you get home. But ho, you talking about you gonna trample over me when I've already opened the door for you? Yes. On the other side, and I took my ass on the other side just to stay out of your way? Ho, you not that bad. Mm. No. And if you are, I need to see. Well, show me. Show me. Oh my God! So, how did you de? How did it end? Um. Well, when we got back to the um the Airbnb, Airbnb, I was packing my stuff. You know, the fake ass bitch with the coin. She comes in and she's just very much like, "Cherry, you don't have to go nowhere." And I'm like, "Yes, I do. You a fake ass." And that's when I just started calling everything out. Bitch, you don't talk about every bitch in here. Only reason why these hoes kiss your motherfucking ass because you the breadwinner. Bitch, you don't make me. I don't need nothing from you. I can carry my own motherfucking way, ho. I'm not a bitch to hang out with you because of your coin, ho. You don't have no friends. People use you, weak ass ho. And I gave it to her just like that. You know what I'm saying? People use you, bitch. You're not no friend. Bitch, you a, you a bank account. You a finance. You're not a friend. You're finance. Mm. And when you run into a bitch who don't need you for your finances, girl, you're, you're out of ways to please people. So, girl, I pack my stuff. Girl, she's trying to sit on my suitcase. Don't want me to leave. Now I feel set up. Yeah. Now I'm starting to feel set up, bitch. Like I'm somebody trying finna, to leave. Like somebody finna come in the room and do me one. Like you don't want to pay some boys or you don't want to... Like, oh, why are you trying to keep me around? Bitch, we're not even friends. Right. Girl, I got to get up out of here because now it's finna go left. So, girl, I packed up my stuff. I was on live as it all was happening. Yeah, I... I, I bitch, I was not finna get off live. she was on live. I was there. <laughs> bitch, I'm finna record everything. Bitch, I'm finna get my shit. Girl, it came to the point I had to push her off my suitcase. 
Girl Fish was like literally trying to sit on my suitcase and keep me in that, in that Airbnb. So, girl, you know, the other girl, she got me a lift. And she was like, Cherry, you know, if I need to pay for your ticket, I'm so sorry this happened. I'm like, oh. I just, I'm just, just take me near the airport. Oh, my flight went even to the next day. And at that particular weekend, it was a riot going on in Puerto Rico. So it was so much going on. They were just telling us that we might not even be able to get to the airport. So, girl, I was just like, girl, God, I prayed about it. Get me up out of here. And it won't happen again. I learned from it. You know, in all bad situations, you have to learn to take the good out of it. So did you end up, how did you, so if your flight was in the next day, did you end up going girl, somewhere? I went to the airport, got me a hotel at the airport. Ah. Uh, Bitch, I'm not missing this flight. I got to get the fuck up out of here. And that same man that them hoes was pressed about on the beach. Girl, not only did I tell him my tea, he came over and delivered the best dick I've ever had. Would you say it again for those out there that's watching, please? Two, and the man that those hoes were so worried about. I told after, him you, the, after you told him your tea? After. After. I told him the tea. He was very much like, I don't care. And we did it. He came over there and gave you the best date ever. And you did not get pregnant. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> what was the biggest thing that you learned from that, that you could tell somebody out there that's, that's, that's uh, watching now? Uh, from that experience, it just allowed me to know that um, jealousy is real. Yes. Jealousy can come from someone who you've known for years. It could come from someone who you worked for. It could come from a relative. It could come from a, a lover. Bitch, jealousy is real, and get away from those type of environments. Stay around positive energy. Yeah. Yes. Anything that don't feel right, bitch, you got to go. You can't control nobody's space or energy but yours. Yes. Yes. And have you spoken to the ladies ever since then? Um, Them, no. But one of them is a bartender at a local bar that I go to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, bitch, she knows she was wrong. Uh, she, you know, she tries to speak. And over time, I... I stopped bullying her because, bitch, you know, when I first saw her, I'm like, bitch, ho, we back in America now, ho, bitch, we back in, in Atlanta. But, you know, she never was about, she was never with that. She, so, never, she was about that not a bully. So, girl, right. I just, when I see her, girl, I just look at her, turn my head, keep it moving. You know, a lot of us experience that stuff, Cherry, because we're trans women and our, our, our sometimes our feel feeling the need to blend in or to assimilate or, or to be a part of, you know, we feel safe. I myself have been a girl that has felt in a safe space with individuals. And I've, I've apologized about this to my audience, you know, which so, and there's no need for me to go cross the bridge, but I'm going to go to the bridge. But I've, 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 I've had to apologize to my audience for sitting with people who have used really nasty slurs, who have been very transphobic, very homophobic. And I felt safe because I felt like, oh, they, they not talking about me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They not talking about me. Cause I'm fish. Cause I'm real. And they don't see me like that. And it's not me that they talk about. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you people out there. Them. Yeah, them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people out there have that same thought and that same mentality when we support people in that space. I know long, it's 2020, I know long. If I see you doing that fucking shit and I talk to you about it and you be like, I'm not really, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about people like you. No, bitch, you talking about me. Because the moment that they're your anger, that their anger, you will be all type of you're all those things. No, you're all those things that they mm -hmm. said about everybody else. Mm -hmm. You're all those things because mm -hmm. this is this is this this is the true nature. This is give them in their true nature, and you just received the true the, the true nature. They possibly had a conversation about some queens and stuff around you, and you was like, "Oh, girl, yes, girl, come on." We, I'm being real. I'm being two thousand like, cracking the cold cases, and you probably was like, "Girl." Yes, girl, that's a brick. You know, right, 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 I done right. did it. Right. I done did it. Girl, that bitch whack. That bitch a brick. That bitch is, ooh, that's a nick. And when the time came for it, boy, for me to receive it, this is why everything, everything you put out in the universe, it returns to you. And it's either going to be a blessing or a lesson. Mm -hmm. In this situation for you, and in my situation, because I've, I've had it more than once, so I know you guys down there thinking I'm talking about one situation, but this has happened more than one time. 
I just have to program my mind, and your mind is not programmed. Mm -mm. Right. Nope. They talking about me, bitch. Girl. So, with that being said, it comes to my next question before the last. I want you to tell me your thoughts on the state of transgender women now. Like, where do you think we are now? And where do you see the progression of trans, the trans person, the trans experience? You know, where do you see, like, what do you see going on now? How do you feel about what's going on right now? Um, honestly, I'm thinking, first of all, I just want to say I'm proud of every trans woman that is living in her truth. Um, but I also want to tell people it's not a project. It's not something that just because you see the next person doing, it's not a competition. I'm seeing a lot of people doing it just because, oh, I'm feminine. I think I should be a girl. No. If you did not have these thoughts as a child, it wasn't for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just, just always live in your truth. Stop, stop playing these games with these boys. Stop. Yeah, you can, you can be real. You can be passable, but bitch, it's never worth your life. Mm. All that, um, want to post on the fish side or running through the straight clubs or in the hood trying to blend in girl no at the end of the day you are still a part of the lgbt community yes no matter how passable or beautiful you are you upset the wrong motherfucker they are going to try to handle you because they don't know how to handle you mm. Mm. once again it's just like feeling us feeling safe mm -hmm. in places where we really are in danger mm -hmm. you know be able to you know up Notice that danger when you're there. Right. Get those feelings. Listen to those vibes. Um, do you think that in the next five years, uh, something really great is going to happen for us as trans women? Because you, as you can see, you, you see, for the past few years, we we black trans women have been dying at an alarming mm -hmm. rate. Mm -hmm. Do you see, do you think you see anything great for us coming up? I feel as though, first of all, we need to stick together. I feel as though we as black trans women, we, we have to do more in our black community. Because girl, it's really the black community that's killing us. Amen to that. <laughs> the damn black trade, honey. Girl, y'all sitting here paying these boys to suck their dick. Y'all sitting here with these motherfucking niggas because they got these tattoos that they rep some motherfucking set. Girl, you should never allow a man to dictate your womanhood. Bitch, I'm the fish, whether I'm with a gay man, a trans man, a thug, uh, whoever, bitch, I'm, I'm me first. Right. And can't no other being solidify that. Bitch, I'm the bone. The what? The things of the motherfucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. My last question for you, Cherry, is what is your next move? My next move is, honestly, I want to start back um, in the beauty field. I do miss doing makeup from time to time, but bitch, I understand that bitch, these bills are due. You know what I'm saying? So I do want to get back to start whether I want to sell lashes or products or anything in the beauty industry because so many people tell me, like, Cherry, who did your makeup? You see how picky I was about getting my makeup done today? Like, But your makeup is, bitch, you... Bitch, she had beat me. Bitch, listen. Oh, she had beat me. Seriously. Listen to me. Listen. And that's <laughs> and that's and that was my woman. Yeah, she did that. But you went in there and added those little, those bottom lashes and gave that thing the thing of the things, girl. A little blink, blink tea. A little blink tea. <laughs> you know, so do you see yourself starting a, opening up a beauty store or? Honestly, Madison, where I'm at in life, I would be allowed to sit here and say I had anything planned out. Right. I would just honestly say that I'm just trying to let God use me. I just know that he hasn't brought me this far to just drop me. And it, I get emotional. Just because, girl, sometimes a person don't know what they're going to do. It's just like, I just, um, just, I just plan on being a great person. That's all you want to do. that's all I can do. Because this whole platform came from me being me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't talking about nobody. I wasn't, um, Give keeping me some, up with the gossip. Give me some tissue. You know, I was just being cherry and bitch. So many people were amused by an individual just being themselves. Yeah. Because I, I, I was a child and, you know... Before I transition, like you're living this life of who you are, but it's not who you are. So when you finally find your truth and you live in your truth, you're, you're like, oh, all that extra dumb shit, that's for the birds. So when you get caught up in living in your truth, people are very much like. And jealous. And jealous. And the thing about it is, 
queen, they have their own story to tell. All you just got to do tell is tell your, your own story. I tell mine. I tell mine. I'm not in. That's why hoes they try to. Oh, cherry this girl. You can't tell nothing that I ain't told you. Because I'm not embarrassed of who I am. I know where I come from, and I know that I'm gonna go to greater, pl greater places. So whatever you're trying to do or trying to say or whatever rumor you're trying to spread, it's only gonna go this far. And it's only gonna go far by people who don't have nothing to live for. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, I t listen. I can totally. I, I I've got my emotions under control with that. Here you go, me. I've got my emotions totally under control with that. Cause I used to get into an emotional state talking about it too. But it just it just toughens you over the years, and over over time, you know, continuously living in your truth. Cause. Basically, you ain't you didn't ask to be followed. You right. just turn on your camera. And girl, I remember it was like twenty people, it was six people, it was twenty six people, it was a hundred people. Girl, then it was a couple of hundred people. Girl, then it was thousands, thousands of people. Of people. Yeah. You know, I know. You know, I if anybody knows that I know. And, and they'd be like, "What does she do?" Girl, she just the things are the things. The things are the things. That's it. That's it. You don't have to be, <laughs> you don't have to, you are a brand within yourself. You doing you. And what I'm, I just, you know, I get it. I get it. All you want to go through this world is doing you. And then when someone asks you this question, that was the perfect answer. Because when people used to ask me this question, I used to say, well, I want to do this in two years and this in the five. I said, you know what? I'm just going to go with the path. This whatever, is God's story. Whatever God got for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it. You're going to see God be wherever God wants you to see me at. Even if it's in the basement. <laughs> Hello. Even if it's in the basement. Talking to Cherry the boom, the thing of the motherfucking thing. This bitch. Boom, bitch. Cherry, I love you. I love you. And I I I I'm so glad that you came here, did the show. Even though I can't I love the show. I like this. Yes. Here. Talking to you, letting you know I watched you. Yes, I felt like that at times it probably would have been really messy if I had to call because I hadn't been calling you and stuff like that. And I didn't want you to feel any kind of way back because I'd be busy in the world, you know? Right, I know. And that's why I never took it personal. It's not like you just sitting on your couch doing nothing. Bitch, I know you at this booking thing and you got this show. But listen, did you, you see what, did you see what you came here and you said tonight? You said, bitch, this is more than just pressing live. It is. You got to hear, you saw it, you're like, this it shit is. is more than just, you just pressing live, pressing a button and go. This is, this shit is a lot. This is a production. This is what you do for it. This, and I do this three, four times out of the fucking week. You get what I'm saying? You see the hoes, ter you see the hoes attack me. Some of the same hoes attack you, they attack me. You see it. Mm -hmm. I don't be doing, I you know, I don't be fucking with them. You don't right. be fucking with them. You be out there just trying to get your money. That's it. Do your thing. <laughs> turn on your camera, bitch. They, talk to the boss talk, squad. Tell the boss squad. Bitch. Tell them your company. I'm the thing of the things, bitch. They can't bitch. take that. True. I want you to keep doing exactly that. Don't stop. And whatever God yes. has designed for you to get, you're going to get it. Whatever love comes for you, you're going to have it. Whatever money comes for you, you're going to have it. Whatever manifestation that, that he got for you to come. But I want you, in when people ask you that again, to say, I don't know when, mm -hmm. but I know. Right. When you say that kind of stuff, that's affirmation to whatever's coming to you from the universe, I from it. God, whatever yes, it is, yes. whatever, whatever privately in the back of your mind, whatever real plan that you have, you like, I don't know if I can do it, whatever. You can't, you don't, don't give that no. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I know. Yeah, right. And that's what I want you to leave here with, and, and apply that to your spirit. Yes. The knowing. The knowing. I know. I know, bitch. Fuck y'all hoes. Y'all can say they ain't gonna never happen for me. Y'all can say that, but I know. Mm -hmm. It might take six months, six years, six days, six weeks, 16 years. I know. And even in, I always say this on my platform, even if it doesn't go where people expect it to go, the fact that I'm inspiring lives, the fact that I'm keeping lives, the, when people say, oh, Cherry, you tell me from committing suicide or you help me with this, 
That's enough for me. Girl, you got to know. Speak what you want and know that that's what you're going to get. Absolutely. I love you. I love you. And I thank you so much for and being thank with you for having me. I, I do. <laughs> I love you. Oh, my God. Tell the people where they can find you. Um, yes, my Instagram, all my social media is Miss Cherry Lee Boom. That's two E's, M-S-C-H-E-R-R-Y-T-H-E-E-B-O-O-M, Cherry Lee Boom. The Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Cracking the Cold Cases. And we do thank you so much for joining us tonight. Cherry, we'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation.